cinematic color grading guys it's probably one of the most controversial topics here on youtube right some people have never ending discussions about it in the comments section and some people love it some people hate it some people say that there's no such thing as a cinematic look and that's exactly why i thought it would be super interesting to see how someone else would color grade a video that i shot when i asked specifically for cinematic color grading so i hired some people on fiverr and i asked them to color grade the same video cinematically that's not a word is that a word i don't think that's a word but it doesn't matter anyway um and just so you know this video is not sponsored by fiverr makes it more interesting right <laughs> So you probably know the concept for this kind of videos. I gave all the artists that I hired the same brief. And because my video was already edited and had music and sound effects, I kept it really short. And this is the ungraded video that I sent them, shot with my Sony a7S III in S-Log3. And to give you an idea, this is a color corrected version. So this is a realistic look, what it looked like that day, without any creative grading. The light was nice and soft that day, perfect for color grading. And this is how I color graded this video a few weeks ago. It looks okay, but I'm not an expert, and this is not the most creative color grade. So I really want to see something different, even if I don't like the look. Because that's what I want to show you in this video, that there's no such thing as one cinematic look. And the video that I sent them, you get the idea, right? There's a bit of suspense, a slightly creepy feeling maybe, that they should be able to pick up on because of the music and the sound effects. Okay, and now it's time to meet the guys that I hired. And first up is New Visionary, a level 2 seller with 218 5 star reviews. That's insane, that's really good. And his basic package says up to 1 minute of footage provided. My video was 1 and a half minutes, but he ended up doing it for 50 bucks. And I didn't haggle down the price, that was his offer. I hate negotiating prices, so you know. Um, and then we have Tag Motion. I will do professional color correction and color grading. Sounds good. 37 reviews, 4.8. Also really good. He sent me an offer of $20. Then next we have Ying Chao. I will do cinematic color grading. That's exactly what I'm looking for. He puts cinematic in his description. Not a lot of reviews, but all five stars. And he also sent me a custom offer, but for $10, just $10. Then our next contestant is Espen. Again, not a lot of reviews, but all five stars. And I really liked his showreel. That's why I picked him. It looks very professional. Just one package here, 95 bucks. And then we have Hendrik Ra Hendrik Rach, Rach? Hendrik Rach, something like that. He also has a very professional looking showreel for $50. And then finally, we have Good Bad Bold. Here also specifically cinematic in the description. So exactly what I'm looking for. Seven reviews and his packages start at $5, just $5. But also he sent me a custom offer saying it's $5 for color correction and then $5 for color grading. So $10 in total. But of course, that's fine, just $10. And now let's see what they think a cinematic color grade should look like. Here's good, bad, bold for $10. I really like this look and I love it that he decided to get rid of the green grass because it doesn't feel unnatural and it makes all the snow and the ice pop. You can feel that it's cold. You know, usually when colorists want you to feel that it's cold, they add blue tones. So I love it that he didn't do that. Instead of doing that, he removed some color. Now, the only thing I don't feel in this grade is the suspense and the slightly creepy feeling. It's a bit too bright. 
and the shadows are also maybe lifted a bit too much but for ten dollars i'm super happy with this look here for example this is backlight but there's still detail in the coat and in the sky looks beautiful and then here at the end also this looks great but like i said too beautiful for this video now, just so you know guys, after they delivered their first version, all of them asked me if I liked it or if I wanted to change something or even if I wanted a completely different look. But the point of this video was to see their first version of a cinematic look and not what I want it to look like, you know? So just keep that in mind. I love this look, but for another video. For this one, it's not perfect. And next we have Ying Chao for also for $10. And right away, this feels totally different. It's a lot darker and it's not as beautiful. I mean, it looks good, but it's not beautiful. You know what I mean? I can really feel the suspense and it's a bit creepy. It really fits the atmosphere of the video. I don't have a lot of remarks, honestly. I think he really nailed it. For my taste, maybe if we check here, maybe I would have lifted the shadows a little bit more. I'm not sure what it's gonna look like once I upload it to YouTube because the compression will mess up the contrast and the colors a little bit. I always try to compensate for it, but you guys will never see what I see here on my computer in DaVinci Resolve. It's always slightly different on YouTube. So yeah, the shadows, but other than that, I love it. For $10, dude. He was also a really nice guy to talk to. All of these guys actually, but he, he, popped out. Okay, and then we have Tag Motion for $20. Tag Motion was the only one who didn't communicate a lot. Now, to be fair, I did say do whatever you want, I don't have a look in mind. It's also my least favorite result actually. The colors, the blues, it's just a bit too much for me. And also the detail in the sky, it's all gone. There should be at least some detail there. Because I exposed for the sky, the detail in the original file, it's there. But here in this grade, it's almost completely gone and that's a shame. I feel like the contrast is way too harsh and he didn't use all that dynamic range that was available. Tech Motion also sent me a second version, but not my style. Here at the end, it does get a little bit better but no, no, I'm sorry. Next, we have Henrik Erach for $50. Okay, so here we see the blue tones and this is starting to look more like a horror movie. I'm also pretty sure that he graded the skin tones separately and I love that because that's really important. I'm not sure if they should be maybe a little bit less saturated so that they blend in a little bit more, maybe. He also really listened to the music, the sound effects and the vibe of the video, which is really important. Hendrik here really went for the classic horror look and for 50 bucks I'm really happy with it. Next we have New Visionary for also for $50. This again looks beautiful. I mean this looks more like what it actually looked like in real life but then made more beautiful without overdoing it. The colors, the lights, it looks great, but it's too beautiful for the creepy vibe in the video. I think this would be a perfect grade for a feel-good commercial or a travel video. Look at all the colors here. It really looks beautiful and also here the end. Like real life, but made more beautiful. So I love this grade, but not for this video. And finally, we have Espen for 95 bucks. Now, after I sent him a sample of my video, he right away suggested to go for a day for night look. So what that means is, he made it look like it was shot at night. I wasn't sure about that, but I wanted to see their take on a cinematic color grade. So go for it, here it is.
I still don't know if it's a good look for this video, but I think he did a great job because it's not easy to make this look realistic and I think this looks really good. And you know what? I think if we could add some visual effects to this footage, lights in the houses in the background, that would be really cool. I would like to see that. I tried to do it here in Photoshop, something like this, you know? Maybe some of you know how to do that, then let me know in the comments and I will send you this video file. So I love the look, but I'm not sure if it's right for this video. What do you think? But anyway, I think I've made my point. We have six completely different cinematic color grades. Now, what's my favorite? Hmm. Um, it's very difficult to pick just one, but if I had to for this video, I think I would go for Ying Chao's color grade. But I mean, that's not the point of this video. I wanted to show you that there's no such thing as one cinematic look. And all of these guys were easy to work with, very professional. So if you need color grading and you like one of these looks, then check out these guys first. They deserve it. And I hope you found it interesting. If you did, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and maybe share this video, that's even better. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.